One of the reasons that we are so passionate about humidity and keeping your cigars at the right temperature is if you have too much humidity in there, anything over about 75, and if the temperature's over 75, close to 80, it can give birth to cigar beetles. Every cigar comes with cigar beetle larva in it. They freeze it out, but it's still in there. It's microscopic and you can't see it. But if your cigars get too hot and too moist, they will give birth to what ruins cigars right down here. If you look right down here, I have several cigars that have literally been ruined by cigar beetles. And I'm, I'm gonna point these out to you real quick. Look at that, can you see, the, can you see this one right here? A cigar beetle trail will look something like this. A little bitty, I'll use the knife so they can see, a little bitty hole where the beetle, if it's in cellophane, the beetle will come out of there. If it's hatched, it'll come out, it'll eat the cellophane and die. So it usually won't destroy the rest of your cigars. But if you don't keep it in cellophane, which I don't believe these Antonios do, okay, they can move on to other cigars like this one and start ruining those. So I have a couple cigars here that I'm gonna cut open for you, and we're gonna see if we can see any other beetles. And then I'm gonna actually smoke this cigar, and we'll see if I can get a beetle to run out to run out on my finger. That'd be kind of great. And I'll show you how it ruins the cigar. It's actually one of my favorite cigars. But one of the sure ways to see if you have beetles, so you can tap the cigar, and you'll see a little bit of this beetle, beetle larva come out. Uh, actually, beetle poo is what we call it, and that's a beetle right there. You can't see it. But I am certain that after I cut these things open, you are going to see, that right there is a beetle, you're going to see live beetles cut, come out. So let's cut open this Carlos Tarano first. And let's see if we can see what the beetles did in here. All right. As you pull it open, you can actually see some larvae in here. See these white, this white part right here? That's larva about ready to hatch right there. All these little larvas. And if you open it up and do this, usually you'll have a beetle or two fall out there. Um, this is a really good long filler cigar that was ruined, you know, completely. And usually you can see the beetles will leave trails in here uh, because they come out on the wrapper. Um, and you got some down here, there's a trail. You can see the holes there, the beetles did. It's a bunch of little holes in there. Oh my goodness, this ruined a really good cigar. That's a very good cigar. Now, let's cut open this one right here and see if we can find any beetles in here. Actually doing this, I have like, I feel like things are crawling all over me. It's just really kind of gross. Dana's behind the camera because she will never touch anything that had bugs with it. There's a spider in the corner. She refuses to go over there. Just so you know, I'm gonna go over there and show what it's like to be a man in a second. Oh, whatever. I will not go over there because I don't like spiders as well, so. <laughs> Let's cut this Antonio open and let's see if we can see uh, just a little bit some cigar beetles in this one too. So we cut it open with Dana's awesome knife and usually you'll see them start to crawl if there's any in there. There's probably not any in here. We keep these cigars completely separated and bagged from the rest of the cigars that we have in our warehouse. So there's no danger of any of these beetles going into any of our other cigars. Uh, there's, I think that's a beetle. I can't see if there's a beetle in there or not. But you can definitely see the holes. There's a hole right there. You can see how it came through on the cigar right there. I mean, there's just so much that just one little beetle can just destroy a cigar. You know, and this Antonio is a good 8 to $10 stick. So you definitely see how it destroys them. So... There's the Antonio. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut a, a, a cigar with a, a beetle hole in it, and you're going to see the smoke begin to pour out, pour out of this beetle hole. That's one of the ways you can definitely tell that you actually have beetles. So you can see the hole right there. There's actually two of them. There's one right there by my finger, and there's one right here, another mini one. So I'm going to attempt to cut and actually smoke this one, and it'll be interesting to see how this goes. I'll cut off the top real quick. I'll draw on it even. I'm so afraid about getting a beetle in my mouth. And I'll show you, because when the, when, the, when the fire hits, that's when they come out usually. Usually when the fire hits, you can actually see the, come over here closer, you can see the, the hole smoking a little bit. See the smoke coming out of the hole? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's where the beetles like to hide. And usually when you heat it up, Mm. 
It tastes great. <laughs> it really does taste great. But you can see how the smoke's coming out of the hole a little bit right there. You see that? Mm -hmm. You can see it more. And I can't, I can't get a good draw either because it's not meant to draw through these holes. And so that also ruins the draw for you. So I'm trying to... Yeah, I actually have to... You can see it coming out of here right now. So I actually have to hold this, hold these holes closed to get it to get a to get a proper draw, and you can see the smoke really 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 billowing out now of those cigar beetles because of that cigar beetle hole. So it ruins the whole experience for you if you try to smoke a cigar that had cigar beetles in it. You can't you can't really get a draw, and you have to hold your fingers like a flute, you know, over, over that. And the tobacco could be tainted as well. You really don't want to smoke these. Um, I'm not going to continue to smoke this. The tobacco could be tainted because the cigar beetles literally poop. So I could have been smoking poop. Okay. So it really, really detracts from the overall taste and flavor of the cigar as well. And so what you want to do, and one of the ways that you can actually save your cigars if you think you have beetles, is you want to get a deep freezer, something that goes below 40, C, 40 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? Minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. And throw the cigars in there for a couple days. Once you find your cigars that have beetles, take your cigars and throw them in there for a couple days. Then put them in the refrigerator for a day or two. Then put them back in your humidor for a week. That should kill any beetles that are alive in there or were doing something to harm your cigars. It'll definitely kill the beetle, la beetle larva uh, if it's in there and keep them again at the perfect 70-70. 70 degrees and 70% 70 humidity. You can go all the way up to 72, uh, 74 and all that. You're kind of hitting a little, little high on the humidity scale. So you want to keep it somewhere around 77. That's the, perfect pla that's the perfect place for it. And that's a way to assure you will not get beetles, okay? If you do get beetles, my, my suggestion is you're going to have to pitch your cigars. You really will. I don't know if you're going to have to do anything with them. The ones that didn't get beetles, go ahead and try to freeze those. But the reality is uh, it's not smokable. The cigar is not smokable. So as you can see from, from trying to smoke this cigar, I just don't think it's really smokable because you're dealing with probably a, a weird taste because there's probably beetle poo in here. And uh, once you have beetles in there, usually they'll they'll run out on you. I know uh, Tim one time said he had a beetle run out and go on his finger, and that was just, I can't imagine how gross that is. So if you have beetle-infested cigars and they have holes in them, you pretty much want to throw them out. The other cigars, you can try to save by deep freezing them, but the fact of the matter is uh, they're probably done. If you have one, maybe your other cigars do, so try to freeze those. But I want to hear from you. Have you ever had beetles in your humidor, and what did you do to solve the problem? You can find me on Facebook right here at this address right down here. You can also find me on Instagram at CrookedBeardAZ and on Snapchat. You can find Dana there at TNT Cigars on Instagram and TNTCigars.com on Snapchat. And as always, you'll find us really trying to figure out how to keep beetles out of our cigars just like you in the comment section below.